being on the water before daybreak has become a part of life. And sharing our trips through our videos is something we enjoy doing. Well, Glenn and I have come down to the hole again this morning. Um, come down to do a bit of sonar talk and all that kind of thing. And we've been flicking here for probably half hour, maybe not quite. And um, this happened to throw right up on the bank. And as soon as it hit the bottom, I felt the bump. And this Dewey's picked it up and nailed it and um, taken off. Doesn't feel a bad size either. He's not as big as the one I got last week, but still gonna be good fish nonetheless. It's already a good start to the morning, Glenn. Barely even started. We're not getting any older. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might not be. <laughs> <clears throat> We, uh, we probably should have put the net together before this. That's just bad luck. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You feel the line tick on their teeth when they turn around. I might just grab that net and get ready, eh? If I can. <sighs> Mr. Precious has got gloves on this morning. Mr. Precious, as, as I'll remember. <laughs> There's your net. There we go. Here's the Dewey. <coughs> Lovely little fish. I'll tell you what, I think he might have swallowed that. Look at that. Yeah, it's gone right down. That's a 5.8 inch. Well over legal, that one. Just goes to show. Early bird gets the worm. Um, let's hit spotlight. I'm going to put the lanyard on, lanyard on before I put me. Should we do an instructional video on about lip grip use? Or? Yeah, so see, see this lip grip here? They've got these things called the lanyard. And what you do is you slip your hand through there. How good is that? <laughs> that way when you go to release the fish you don't lose it. Well, you don't lose your lip grips? Yeah, both. You don't lose Go nuts. Just, right, just smash my gear. It's alright. Look at that. Yeah, he's got that. Oh, sorry. You alright? No, stay there. Yeah, he's got that down there. I'm just working the angle, that's all. Ah, working the angle. He swallowed that. It's right in there. Man. That's the slow strike reaction from the young fella. That's right, look at that. <laughs> awesome fish for the morning. I reckon we get into them. Hurry up and de-hook that so I can get one. No worries. Thank you. <clears throat> We've got to the point where we know the menning like the back of our hands. It wasn't until the release of our video, Mulloway Tips and Secrets, I realised the impact these videos have on others. I 
decided it was time to test ourselves on a new river system. We had 10 hours to locate and catch not only numbers of fish, but also something we could class as a respectable catch. But this time around, it wasn't the Laurent sounder that would locate our prized catch. first step was to start up river. We side scanned a few areas and could see fish sitting in among the structure. But the only thing active was the local bird life. Five hours in, and we only had one flathead in the boat. We decided to follow the rainbow and try our luck down river. so far and now we're just out sort of in the main lake which is kind of similar to down at Foster but um, having absolutely no idea where we're going means that we're kind of just pulling up at lightly looking spots and having a flick because the whole thing is like two meters deep barren sand <laughs> so we might just travel until we find some sort of deeper water or structure and so try again. We really need some <coughs> current. Yeah, well, there's a bit of current flowing here, but <coughs> oh, it's just a completely barren bottom. Haven't seen anything, but don't really expect to in 1.6 metres of water. So, we might see if we can find channel somewhere with some reef and um, there's other boats out here but they've just pulled up in the middle of nowhere and soaking baits so <clears throat> that doesn't tend to work with lures no. I suppose we could just load them up with dizzy scent cast them out and wait <laughs> So, the direction of the current is coming from where? That way. The direction of the current's coming that way. So, obviously, <coughs> we're heading towards the ocean. We're heading downstream, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of channel markers coming up. There, there, there. So, I'll go between those, will I? It's 
go wherever you want, you usually do. <laughs> Yeah, you let me know when there's a rock bar coming up, not most of the time. <laughs> Looks very shallow here, Glenn. It is. It's just come up to 0.8. side of the marker it might give us some indication of where the depth is and if it's really shallow on the other side then get on the we're going downstream though that one's supposed to be on your right going downstream it's supposed to be but you know how sandbars move <laughs> yeah rock bars don't though no, it's dropped off now Talk to me, Glenn. Oh, I think I've just hooked a good platy. What did we decide to do, Glenn? Well, we decided we'd fish Way. the edges of a, um, a drop-off that was lined with weed beds. So, we've got, got some good flatties in the esky for a feed and just been bouncing the bouncing the plastics along the the outer edge of a, a weed bed and sandbank, and now I've hooked up to a good one. I'm just hoping this light leader he hasn't got it in his gob because we weren't really planning on doing this. That's teeth, I can feel it on the line. That'd be a good fish. We get to see it.
magazine. Wow. Pretty lucky to land that. He actually had the head of the lure, head of the, the jig down inside with a with a leader right over his teeth. Can I take those again, Glenn? Uh, yep. When he can't, oh look at that. She's chafed up. Little good chafes on her. I could feel it rubbing on his teeth. This one's Holt's herring. Let's get there. Yeah. Nice fish. All right, we'll let this one go. On the dot. 68 centimeters. Very cool. Come on, sweetheart. Get the colors on. It's got the fins out, flared, ready to go. Guys, look at that! Happy days. Well done, mate. That was lucky. Glenn just turned the camera on after recording for about three minutes. <laughs> it's all good, but um, I've got a feeling. I don't know. I got. I don't know if this is a Jew or a flatty. Ah, oh, it's a flatty. It's a cracker too clunked onto it over there and it's been it's heavy this thing is heavy you we were just talking about i wanted to crack an 80 i don't know if it's going to be 80 but i'll tell you what are you nowhere near finished yet i might have a foul hook at least he won't chew you off if you have <clears throat> fish in this area, weed bed, and um, it drops down to about, oh what is it, about 2.7, and um, man this thing's got some weight to it, whatever it is, and yeah, we are just talking about spot locking it, fishing a castable length, going along, spot locking it again. Just to cover the area properly? Yeah, just to cover it properly. The sooner we said that, I just got clunked. Oh, I don't know what this is. As soon as I can see it, I'll throw the camera down there and. Could be a foul hooked, sizable flathead, but. Oh no, it's not. It's got a... Not foul hooked. It's not foul hooked. <laughs> <coughs> Bigger than the last one, mate. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Did we just talk? <laughs> we were just talking about you're going to try and get an 80, and I reckon that's going to go well, it's over, well over 70. Man. Awesome. <clears throat> if you're wondering why we've got the tarp in the boat, it's because it's pouring down rain all day. This is July. This is July. And we're still getting, well the last one was 68 centimetres. This one's going to be well over 70. Well, just at a guess. It's definitely heavier than mine. Let's have a look at her. That. Look at that. Just got to get the sun flare off her. That's it. What oh. an awesome fish. That 
is an awesome flatty. Just give us an upright length. No, up the other way. Just landed, and we've started throwing again with 68. We'll see what this one comes up at. Oh, right down. <clears throat> oh, right down. She's healthy. She is. Ouch. Pick up with them. Oh, <laughs> 78. Here we go. 78 centimeters. 78 on the dot. On the dot. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is not bad, good size. <laughs> this was, ow. She was caught on a Kitec, four inch lime chartreuse, easy shiner. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna get it back in. Oh, she bites. This is your sonar, obviously, and you got an option on your sonar. A lot of them do. Actually, I think all of them do. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, this is what you call an A-scope. This is live. This is what's happening as it comes through the um, sonar beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the plastic down in through the beam, and you'll actually see it fall live. It's like the new live... Um, the Garmin lives and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to drop it down, and there it goes. It's just hit the bottom. So that's the plastic. Now I'm going to lift it, and there it is. Lift and drop. You can see it on the side here. Lift, up it comes, down. It's just starting to leave the cone again now. I'll have to put it back now. Lift, there it is, and drop. And you can see on the screen where the actual jig head is coming up and going down. I'll lift it again, up it goes. Oh, fish just come up at that. Up it goes, down. Oh, just got a hit. <laughs> so you can physically see if you if you're vertical jigging, say you're chasing bass in a dam or something like that, you can use this option and you can drop it down in the cone and you can physically see the bass or flathead if we're in a big um, school of flathead. You can see them physically come up and chase your lure as you lift it. And what will happen is you'll see another red mark, follow it up and hit it. wants to eat it today. Oh, guess what? Oh, I just, <laughs> it was on. <laughs> he took, must have hit that right on the bottom. He did. There's still a red mark right, sitting oh, on the here bottom. Here it is, here it is. I got He's it. on. I got it. And it's a um, oyster fish. Oyster fish, yay. Awesome. <laughs> Something did hit that. I'll drop it down yeah, again. Yeah, well, there's a red mark on the bottom yeah. when you got the hit. I'll drop it again. Here we go. See if I can get something to come up and grab it. Is oh, 
something's on it. See, something's following it up. With that wants it. I drop it back down. You can actually see the red line on the sonar where he's followed it up. Oh, come on. It's still there. There must be a little brim or something for it to be doing that. Oh, it's on it. It's on it. No. Oh, it's chased. Come on, chase it up. No. I'd say it's a school of brim. There's a couple yeah, of fish couple there now. We're just about ready to run into it. If I had a blade or something, they might hit it, but. Um, Right now, you see the fish is still chasing it. You can see the red line. No. It's not going to hit it. So, yeah, so have a look in your advanced settings. Um, there'll be a uh, on this, I'll go to menu. I think it's in advanced. Uh, just trying to remember where I had it now. Um, View. No, it was in my view. So, oh, just down back. So there's a scope there. I hit it, turn it on. Oh, clear that. There it is. It's back there again. So yeah. Oh, there's a fish on it. We better hit the road, Glenn. Yep. It's getting dark. We've got a little bit of a trip back. Hopefully we don't run out of fuel. That'll be fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Red Glenn, dots. Glenn and I have come back. Glenn's got to pan around. Now we're a bit closer. There we go. You can see the shallows up further where the smooth water is. And as the water runs off the shallows, over the weed beds and into the drop, and you can see that ripply water a little bit closer, that's where we're casting to. So we're uh, casting to the edge of the, the, the flat water and letting our lures drop down into the deeper water as the where the water runs down and off the off the flats. And Adam's hooked up again. It's not huge, but it's a good one, nonetheless. Not as big as the is the net. 78er. Oh, not even as big as the 68er. get their head into that current, they will sit there. <laughs> Must be Glenn's turn to catch a monster because Glenn got the smaller of the two last time. And the very next fish was 10 centimetres bigger. It was. Yeah, I can't get set up. Mm, he's a good one. See what the chartreuse. Easy shiners kill them. That's a nice That's fish. That's a nice fish. I'll go back to the glove. The glove's a lot easier to handle these fish than the um, lip grips. Sometimes. If, as long as you can get your finger in there now. Nice little key hooked. There's the lime chartreuse easy shiner by Kitek. Yeah, nice one. A 
Lovely fish. Very nice. Yep. Pop him back in. On the sunny side. There we go. That easy. Too keen. Let's get another one, Glenn. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we've actually come to a system where we've never really fished. Well, I haven't fished it before, uh, and Adam hasn't either. Um, so, basically turned up blind. Used the sounder and, uh, and just visual indicators of where sandbanks and, and that sort of thing was. Um, and, uh, and then Adam got on his phone and decided we'd need to find out where the channels and um, sand, sand flats and weed beds are. Got on his phone and uh, had a look on Google Earth, zoomed in and uh, picked out a, a spot and we came down and um, pretty much that's where we got all our flathead today. So um, using Google Earth is a pretty good trick. And we've got plenty of eaters for the day. So there's two, four, Oh, a dozen or more between us. Between the two of us. And we also released a 68, a 78, and the other one was probably 55. So we've re released some some uh, some cracking good flatties as well. So um, it's been a really good day, but we've got to move now because it's going to be dark by the time we get back to the ramp. All right. Sun's going down behind the mountain. So it's finger out time and go. Go, go, go. I'll go home and clean my messy boat up. <laughs> so much gear for no idea. So in the end, we had a successful day. But we had to work for it. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Let's get the fins out, flared, ready to go. There she goes.